Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing tonight? I am back uh, for the second time today with the promised video of my little <laughs> idea I had this morning. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool. I hadn't seen anyone else do it really, but it's simple. But anyway, so what I did to this morning, welcome to my channel if I didn't say that. But uh, what I did this morning, I was looking uh, through my drawer that I keep my bags in. I was looking for a little drawstring bag that I have in there. I know it's in there. I just couldn't find it and I didn't want to, I didn't really have time to, you know, everything in there is organized in a certain way, but I think maybe it got pushed down under something and I just didn't want to take the time. I went through everything twice and I couldn't find it. I didn't want to take the time to kind of like take things out and then make a big mess or take things out, put things back in. So Right above my, let's see, above, no. Oh, in the same drawer I have my napkins. That's what it is. So I was like, well, you know, I wonder if I could, what I needed was a little bag. I wanted to mail, I had an order. I wanted to put the uh, item that I was mailing in a little bag just for, you know, not really even for protection, but for something pretty to mail it in, you know. I didn't want an envelope. I wanted a bag. So, uh, or a pouch or something. So I, the napkins were sitting right there. I have the napkins, paper bags right there in that same drawer. So I was like, I wonder if I can just, and my sewing machine sits right here out my craft room. So I was like, I wonder if I can just make a little bag out of a napkin real quick, you know, stitch around the sides or something and make a little bag. So that's what I did. So that's my idea to uh, sew on napkins. You know, that's my big idea. Uh, you know, like I said, nothing fancy, but... Uh, I thought, you know, I thought it was a pretty decent idea. And so um, that's what I did this morning. I took uh, one of these napkins and they are like this. They look like this. I just had this pretty napkin sitting there and I cut it in half. Basically, oh, this morning I, I used a whole napkin and I folded it and made a, a napkin like this. A long, narrow napkin tonight, what I did trying to d kind of develop it into other things and see what all I can do because uh, this could, um, you know, there could be other things that you could sew with a napkin other than, you know, how we usually do is I like, do decoupaging or whatever with napkins on envelopes and journal pages and journal covers and things like that. I've seen a lot of that, but what I did was, so for instance, this morning, this is what I did. I made a little bag, like kind of like a paper bag because I couldn't find the pouch I wanted. And the pouch I wanted had a drawstring on it. So I was going to be able to, I was going to be able to close it. But the item I wanted to mail, it was really small. So really I didn't have to have a drawstring. I just had to have a pouch or a bag. And I wanted a soft bag. I didn't want a paper bag. So that's why the, the napkin was right there and it popped into my head. So I just quick took a napkin out, stitched around and I uh, made a long narrow pouch like this so and then tonight when I made this one I cut with my little you know scallop scissors here I cut the top to make it more interesting and not, instead of just a straight uh, top and then just sewed this was one I cut in half like this so this is half a piece and see you know because it goes together like this so I cut it in half and uh, sewed all the open sides together. Now this piece was open on three sides, so I had to go all the way around. But if it's not open, you know, you just have to sew on whatever open sides. Like if you cut it on the fold so that you have a fold here, then uh, or somewhere you can just cut, you know, sew on the open sides closed. So anyway, um, you know, my... It depends on what you want to use it to for, um, use it for too. But uh, you know, my use was to mail something in here and have a nice little soft bag to mail it in. So what I did was put my item in there, and then I just folded it down. And I didn't want to tape it. I kind of folded it like this in half, actually, kind of like that, like an almost like an envelope. But um, I just needed. It was like I said, something small, and I didn't want to tape it closed or anything. So that's why I folded it down like that. I didn't fold it up here because I didn't think it would stay. So I folded it down here and it was uh, made for a cute little pouch to mail my item in. So 
uh, that is was the basic idea this morning. Uh, this morning I didn't do the scalped edges because I didn't have time to do all that, you know, before I went to work. So I just did, had a straight line here, sewed the sides together, and mailed my item in a little pouch like that. So I think that is really pretty. If you got something in a little pouch like that in a nap, pretty napkin, I think you, or I would like it, you know. <laughs> so that was the basic idea. So then this tonight when I came home, now I've got some pieces ready to sew here. You know, make some more little whatever I want to make, whatever size. I mean, you can make whatever size you want according to your whatever your napkin size is. You can just, you know, make a you know, a narrow one this way, you make a narrow one this way, you know, lengthwise, horizontal, vertical, whatever. You can make them smaller, bigger. So, um, I haven't sewn these yet, but I did sew these two. I pulled out since it's, you know, Halloween and fall and things like that. I pulled out these little pumpkin napkins and I made two little one, little bags here. So I think these are super cute, little pumpkin bags. And I did the same thing. I just cut it in half. I cut it, you know, in half twice, so it was like, say it was like this, well, I think it was like this, here it is, this one was together, <laughs> you can see where the pumpkin cut in half, so I just cut it in half and sewed up, I had to sew the bottom and the side on this one because there's a fold right here, and the same thing on this one, just down this side and across the bottom, and I used my scallop scissors there on the top, so... I've got cute, two cute little pumpkin bags and they're soft instead of, you know, like regular paper bag material. So I thought those were super cute. I mean, you could put those in a journal too. You can mail something in them. You can put them in a journal uh, and tuck some things in here, you know, or, you know, whatever. I'm sure there's many more uses for little soft paper bags. And then the other idea I had, because I wanted... I was going for a pouch this morning that I had, so I made this little pouch tonight. Uh, I just took the paper bag and, you know, this was half of a napkin. So, say this is your napkin. Let's see, is this a whole one? This is a half of one. Let me grab a whole one so I can show you. Uh, I will. I can do a craft with me later on. I wasn't going to do a craft with me tonight. I was just going to kind of show you my idea and explain a little bit what about what I did. But how I made this little pouch right here, a drawstring pouch. I took my napkin, unfolded it like this, you know, lengthwise. So here's the back of this one is white. So I took it. I went over to my little ribbon stash and found a ribbon and just took this to my sewing machine. Uh, I tried to figure out the easiest way possible to do this. I just laid my, well, I folded this down like this. And I have, you can see I have a thin ribbon here. It's not fat. It's kind of pretty thin. This right here. It's a black ribbon. I was going to pull out an orange piece of like uh, seam binding. And then I remembered I had another, I have a, um, like just kind of miscellaneous uh, scrap ribbons that I've saved from different things. And I went over to that little box where I keep that, those scrap ribbons. And I found this little black, of course that matched. So I had my fold here. I went ahead, I didn't want to try to have to try. There is of course ways to put the string through or the ribbon through after you sew your little him, but I didn't want to have to mess with that and since it was so thin I could avoid sewing on it You know, I could put it in here before I sewed and avoid sewing on it if it was a little bit thicker You know what you know wider or whatever you might have to be careful You don't more careful that you don't sew on it and I was careful still and I made sure it was tucked right up in the fold here and Then I took it over to my sewing machine and made sure it stayed up tucked into the fold so I didn't sew on it and then I just sewed right here, okay? And then once I had that done, I made sure my ribbon was out. It didn't get pulled in or anything. And then I just folded this in half. And easy as, uh, easy peasy, just sewed, sewed, I sewed, uh, the, <laughs> sorry, I'm saying that weird, aren't I? I sewed the bottom first, so I went with my uh, sewing machine down the bottom, which, which, the part, this this part right here is going to be the bottom of my little pouch, 
and then I came up the side and I stopped uh, right here at because this is already sewed so you don't have to worry about sewing all the way up you just sew up to your hem where you have your you know your little hem and your ribbons hanging out and it's simple this is very simple to make a little drawstring pouch but I'm just in case you've never made one <laughs> you know I'm telling you how simple it is so you just sew you all you do is sew up the bottom sew up and I just use a straight stitch but you can use a zigzag stitch if you wanted to but I just wanted to, you know, de napkin is a little bit more delicate than uh, fabric. So I didn't want to use a zigzag stitch right off. I just, you know, maybe I'll try it later. But this is my first time sewing on a napkin, you know, without any kind of support behind it as far as cardstock or anything. So I wanted to be careful that I didn't rip the napkin, you know, or just was too rough with it with a zigzag or something. So straight stitch, straight stitch up to the hem, and then that was it. I just, uh, I was careful when I pulled this. Now, you could, I wanted to see how tight I could pull it and how tight I could get the little closure here. And this is about as tight, I felt like I got it as tight as I could without ripping it. So this is as close as it gets, as you can see. I didn't want to, I want, didn't want to pull on it anymore, so it's got a little hole there, but... You know, I didn't even know, like, you could flatten this out and use it, or you could leave it puffy, like, without wrinkling it. <laughs> I left it puffy, but you could flatten it out. And then, also, you don't even have to really gather it that much, depending on what you're using it for. Here's what it looks like, if I can stretch it out oh, without. See, I have a little kind of knot here at the end to keep it tied. But you can, uh, here's what it looks like stretched out. And you can make it as loose or as tight as you want, but it's stretched out here. Here's the little ribbons. Now, um, you have to have, I was trying to think if I needed to do something else to keep these ribbons in place. And, but you really, you need to be able to, you know, they need to be able to move. So you really can't fasten those in place unless you're not going to close it. <laughs> but that's beats the idea of a drawstring pouch. But, um. You know, I don't know what I'll do with this as far as putting it in a drill, but you can gather it just a little bit, too. You don't have to gather it like I just did all the way up. And I just kind of pulled on it like this in order to be a little bit delicate with it because I didn't want it to. But see, it looks cute like that, even. If you wanted to mail, say you were mailing something, like a little... You can make this big enough to go over a journal or, you know, a little mini journal. Say you want to make a mini journal and mail it in a little pouch like this you could just do like that where you didn't draw it up you know like I did so tight and just have a little you know you have a little drawstring pouch cute little drawstring pouch and uh, you know it would fit it wouldn't be too puffy where you could fit it into an envelope and just have something to cute to mail something in or anything little that would fit in here not just a journal anything little that you mail for your shop or send in happy mail or you know to a friend it just is uh <laughs> you know so many things i'm sure that you can think of more things that you could use it for but of course you can do this with fabric too but i just had the idea with the napkin this morning is something you know i mean you know napkins are cheap usually and or you can get them cheap and I mean, these I picked up, where did I get these? I think I got these at Dollar Tree. So I got a whole pack of however many napkins were in there, probably about 20 or so, 24, 30. Uh, you know, 18, I don't know how many were in there, but that's a lot of paper. Let's call this paper fabric at the moment. <laughs> that's a lot of paper fabric, which is AKA napkins that you can make into little pouches. And this was half of one. So, right, no, this was a whole one. This was a whole one, but these were what one, one quarter of one. So, you can make four little ones out of a napkin or this one big pouch, or you know, like I said, depending on the size, you can make different sizes. So, I'm going to do some more experimenting 
and if you want to if you want me to show anything like like if you want me to show this at my sewing machine let me know and I'll go back and do a little craft with me type tutorial sewing machine over at my sewing machine and sew one of these uh, right on camera because it's really easy so I don't think I'd have a problem with that but uh, or it, or even these I mean they're so simple I wouldn't think you would need me to show you but if you did want me to show you I would be glad to and then the little narrow one was the other one I made right here little napkin paper bag I'm gonna call it <laughs> so so it's just a fun little ideas that uh, uh, if you have any ideas if you could let me know uh, in the comments like other ways to and maybe you've done it before made things uh, sewing on napkins like this just out of napkins if you've made something I mean I suppose you can make an envelope too which I think I might try next also because I like to see how it looks you know a soft just a soft napkin envelope I think that would be cool and uh, if you have any other ideas just put them in the comments because uh, we can give each other ideas of things to sew with just a napkin not not any cardstock or anything just just a napkin uh, so we'll le let each other I'll let it go at that and we'll, we'll if we can let each other give you know switch ideas swap ideas that would be awesome and everybody can read the comments and just you know just be inspired hopefully so anyway that was just a fun little thing I did today so I'll let you go and I hope everybody has a good night and happy crafting see you next time